In this tips and tricks video, we're going to take a look at adding tabs or bridges to a relief carving. Here you can see that I've got a relief on screen and I've already created a toolpath. Now I've pretty much just used the default settings. If this was a real world job, I would probably limit this to a boundary, but I've done the whole of the model just so you can see what's going on. So if I were to simulate this, I've got a quarter inch roughing tool. So let's simulate that. And then I've got a sixteenth of an inch finishing. OK, so that looks OK, but what's going to happen here is that this is going to remove pretty much all of this material and there's going to be nothing there. So what I need to make sure if I wanted to machine it like this, it is stuck down to the spile board. Now, if I go into the machine relief and take a look at it, as I said, I've just used all of the basic default settings for this. I'm doing the whole of the relief and also my material thickness is half an inch thick. So if I go back here where it says untitled, you can see that my relief, the minimum thickness of this is minus 0.5 inches. Now, what if I wanted to add tabs to this? Now, let's say that my material is, I don't know, let's say three quarters of an inch thick. So what I need to do then is click on the drop down menu for the material thickness, click on setup and change my material thickness to 0 0.75. Now, what you need to make sure is that you've got the difference from the model thickness and the material thickness at the bottom because that's going to leave material on there and that's where we're going to machine out and that's going to leave our tabs in there. So if you've got this set to there, it's not going to work. It's just going to pretty much do exactly what you've already got, except it's going to skim off a quarter of an inch off the top of the material. So you need to make sure that this is the bottom offset. Select OK, and then I'm going to calculate it again. Now, if I close that, let's rotate it around, and I'm going to delete the simulation, and I'm just going to simulate that again so you can see what's happening. So this time, you can see if I rotate around, I've got this thickness on the material. So that's a quarter of an inch thick and it's given me material around this relief. So what I can do now is just a basic 2D profile around this and add tabs to it. This is quite an easy one because it's quite square, but if you had quite an intricate relief, then you just do exactly the same process. So let me delete the simulation, turn on the vectors, there's none there at the moment. And then what I'm going to do is go to the vector drop down, create, and then I'm going to create a relief boundary. I'll link to another video showing you how to do this in the description below. Click relief boundary and don't need to use any of this height range, but what you need to do is make sure that you've got create smooth boundaries turned on. So click create boundary and that will create a boundary. As I said before, this is quite a simple example. This would work in exactly the same way if you had a really complex relief. So let's close that and let's take a look at a plan view of that. And then what I'm going to do is go to toolpaths create a profile toolpath and then I want this to go on the outside of the selected vectors which is the vectors that I just created the finish depth going to go all the way through the material down to the bottom select a tool let's use say a quarter inch and then what I'm going to do is add bridges so let's add four bridges let's do them let's say 0.1 point one you can add 3d bridges or 2d bridges again i'll link 
to a video showing you how to do bridges or tabs below in the description. I'm going to do 2D bridges, select add, and it shows you where they're going to be placed. If you're not happy with this, edit the bridges. I'm okay with that. Click calculate now. And then if I zoom in here, you can see that the tool jumps up and leaves a bit of material on there for me. So if I were to simulate all of this now, let's simulate the machine relief. And then I'm going to use the control bar for this one. Now you can see that it's cutting a lot of fresh air to start with, but what it's done, it's left these tabs on for me. And that's how you hold a relief carving in the existing material that you're cutting it out of. Now, if you don't want those air moves at the top, presuming that you've cleared the area away because you don't want to do this if you haven't, you can add a start depth to that. So I know that my start depth is negative 0.5. So what I can do is, let's say I want it to start, let's say 4.9, and then calculate that. And then if I rotate it around, you can see that it's starting just above this area here. So that's how you add tabs to a relief carving. 